create a chat application using signal r use and inside our resort pages okay the first question arises here what is a signal r signal r is a mechanism for two way communication there is a difference between signal r and web api for your quick revision i just want to let you know that in web apis our client send a request to server for some information and server sends the information back to the client but server cannot send information on its own but here in signal r clients remain connected with the server this these are three client four clients and our server is sitting on the for example this would be a asp.net core application right now we are going to create a resor application it would be a blazor application or any other type of application sitting on the server what happens here clients and server both remain connected all the time and what happens in this scenario what we are going to do right now any user any client will send a message to server and server will broadcast that message to all the connected clients yes server will broadcast the message to all the connected clients so what we are going to develop we are going to develop this type of application that this is a client this is another client if this user sends any information it broadcasts to all the connected clients uh, or if this user sends the information towards signal r server it is broadcasted to all the connected clients so let's head over to visual studio without wasting any time and these are the steps that we are going to follow let's first open the my development machine over here quickly head over to visual studio and there we will create our project and we will take a we will create a spnet core web application next here we will provide the name web app signal r ok create and let's take the template resort pages don't want to configure HTTPS for now create the first thing that i want to do after creation of project is i will add a client side library here inside the projects come right click and come into add and click on client side library from provider select unpkg and enter the name microsoft signal r latest okay and what i want here is i don't want to include all the files i want to choose a specific files for them and click here in browser signal r and signal r min.js and i want these files to go inside my www root js slash signal r folder and install them as soon as they will install they will start appearing here come into js they are not around here still but let's wait here they come and okay here they are okay so the next task is to create a hub to create a signal r hub right click on the project and create a folder new folder hubs here if we are going to create more than one hubs of signal r we will create all of them here inside this folder and right click on this folder and click add new item and we are going to add a simple class file chat hub This class will be using Microsoft dot ASP.NET Core dot Signal R Signal R. Okay. Now it can inherit from hubs hub, which is sitting, which is a class sitting inside this Signal R. Okay. Perfect. Now we will add a function which will listen to the client request. Here is our function async task send message. This send message will be listening to the client request and will take two parameters user and name. Which user is sending the message and what message is being sent. And then this send message function will broadcast the message to all connected clients. All connected clients here I am not providing any specific user or specific connected client and on the clients this message will be this uh, function will be called receive message and what we are going to send we are going to send the name of user who is sending the message the message that is being sent and the time on which this function is being called now that's it we have done with our chat hubs file save it okay 
the next thing i want to do is to create the front end for chart inside pages come into index we'll modify this page and we'll create our chatting portion over here and here goes our script for chatting page so this is a very simple page we have just created a simple form with user we are taking username as input we are getting message as input and we have a sign button that's it and inside below this form there is a uh, library of signal r that we just added and we are going to call our chat.js file here the reason behind calling the chat.js file in this file we will define our required function which will work inside be, beside behind the send button or on the for the receiving of any method from signal r so let's come into www root js right click here add new item search for javascript add a javascript file chat.js and in this file there goes our code so the code is very simple we are going to create the connection this chat hub is sitting inside our um, hub folder and uh, this is the function which is being called from the server uh, let me show you the code inside hubs chat hub whenever this chat hub will receive message from any client will broadcast a message to all clients by calling their receive message function this receive message function is sitting over here which is simply adding the received message to the list on chatting page here it is down below the send button there is a list in which we are going to append our newly received messages ok and once the send button is clicked from here this function is uh, event is defined over here send button event and what it is doing it is simply invoking the function inside our chat hub send message and it is passing two arguments username and message here it is user and message and that's it now the last thing that we need to do is we need to configure our services for that come into startup and using our project name will include hubs because our hub is sitting inside hub folder hub the next thing we want to add signal r point and the last thing we need to configure the endpoint here and that's it there we go with our project let's hit run execute the project and test the functionality okay here it is let's uh, enter the name alex hi i'm alex but where this message go let's make a duplicate of this window remove the name from here send this message okay this message is broadcasted to this client as well now let's make one more copy duplicate make it separate here let's say Bob is typing a message I'm Bob hi okay this message how it is working let me show you one more thing the developer we develop a task in the same way developer this is my message okay it's broadcasting to everyone what is happening whenever we are pressing the send button the function sitting inside the hub is being called hub redirects or broadcast the message to all connected clients using the function sitting inside javascript and the message is displayed in our list inside index so that's it for this video thank you very much